Hey, how's it going? Brad Smith here, owner of Automation Links. I want to show you this incredible case study from a client that's been working with us for over a year now. We break down how much they're spending, how much they're making, what their margins are, and then what their profit is after expenses. Now, this is really going to help you understand what you should invest in your business and then what you can get out of it if your business is good enough to see these type of results. So if we take a look here, you know, starting in month one, the investment was $4,000. Now, when you think about your investment, you need to think about the investment into your management fees, like paying a company like Automation Links to get all of this set up and built for you. You also need to think about your ad costs, what you're going to be spending on ads. And then you want to think about your sales team, if you're going to have one or your software costs also. But the number, the two things I want you to think about is management fee and your ad costs, putting those together. So this customer started off paying $4,000 per month for management and ads. Now that may sound like a lot for you if you're a small business, but if you take a look at these numbers, you're gonna see what you will get out of it. And usually we see the best results starting month three. So month one and month two are all the setup phases. Month three is where we're testing and doing the marketing. You'll start getting your investment back. But month three through six, that's why we like to do six month terms with you, is where you're gonna get your money back plus more. So you're going to see spending 4,000 and making 20,000 back. Now, if you jump ahead six months, spending 5,000, spending just a little bit more, return 55,000 back. And then if you jump ahead to 12 months, you're spending a little bit more, 6,000 in management and ad cost, but getting 115,000 back. Now we need to grow your audience. That's why you really don't see results month one, because we have to build up that audience for you. Find your ideal customers build that traffic to the site so we can really optimize on the programs that we offer you. Then we need to think of the gross profit. So this is after the margin. So I think this company has about 60% margins. So if you take the 20,000 minus 60%, they're really only profiting $12,000. Um, and then after, you know, our, their investment working with us and paying for the ads, they're really only making 8,000. But the goal is to make more than what you spend. As long as you're making more than what you spend, you'll be able to scale and build a company like this. Because as you look month after month, you know, they spent 4,000, returned 8,000. Now those numbers we want to look at is, are they making more than what they spent? Yes. Now let's look at month six, spent 5,000, but they returned 28,000. Now we know this company is able to scale and continue growing. If you look at month 12, spent 6,000 and returned 63,000 after all expenses and everything is paid. That's how you grow a company. Now I want to review the checklist of what we offered this company to get them there. Now, these are just some of the things you may need. We start off with one to three of these services, and then every month we continue adding more services on. That's why our management fee goes up, or that's why we take a percentage of ad spend because more team members on automation links, more effort, more time is going to go into your account to help you continue to scale. So you may start spending 4,000 when you start with us, but then you might get up to 6,000 a month when you start with us, but you're going to be making double and triple every single month. So first we went into this customer's website and we optimized it to get more conversions. On average, she was only averaging less than 1% conversions. So even if you get a thousand visitors, nobody's actually paying you because there's no conversions. So if we can bump that up to two to 4% conversion rates, you can start getting more sales from the clients you already have. Then we set up Google ads because it just made sense to get the ideal customers from Google. That's where they're searching for the product. So you want to think about where people are searching for your product at and then market and advertise there. We set up Google shopping, Google pay-per-click, Google maps, whatever we could on Google to build up that ideal audience. And of course, we always implement email marketing. This is a good way to build better relationships with people, whether that's abandoned cart emails, follow-up series, different ways to turn someone from a cold lead to a warm lead to a buyer. And this even will help get repeat buyers and increase of sales. So this is very important to have a really highly targeted email campaign. After the audience was built and our automation was in place, then we wanted to start retargeting th these people. If you've ever been to nike.com to look at shoes, the next day you're gonna see a shoe ad on Instagram and Facebook. Same thing with your business, you wanna follow up with people. Most people that come to your website the first time are a cold lead. We want to warm them up by continuing to show you them value, show them your product, build trust with your brand, and then they're more likely to come back and buy. 
This is when we really were able to start scaling the business, getting the ideal visitors from Google and remarketing to them on Facebook and Instagram. And then the customer follow-up, like the abandoned cart, like I mentioned, we want to follow up with that person, get referrals, get five-star reviews, and have them come back for a repeat buyer. So now you're not just getting one purchase from a person, you're getting two to three purchases after. Social media promotion, we we uh, figured out that this person needed Pinterest ads, um, Pinterest promotions, Instagram promotions, stories, all these different things to really grow on social media. What that does is it builds your audience even more, but also builds trust and your brand on those channels. And then website con consulting, I consult for every business we work with. There's many things that need to be changed. You might think you have a beautiful, awesome website, when in reality, it might be beautiful and awesome, but it's not converting. So I dive deep and I look at every single page, all the different channels, and consult with you to see what's gonna bring you the best results to get your money back as fast as possible. Now, if you guys need any help with your business, we offer the all-in-one marketing. This is every single one of these channels plus more, whatever we decide is gonna be the best fit. We're gonna start with one to three of these and continue adding them on as you grow your company. Now, every single business that we accept, you know, we are able to grow and scale. So if you need any help or have any questions, make sure you reach out to us, schedule a call so we can see if it's a good fit. Thanks for watching this video and hopefully you get results like this soon. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner and founder of HelpLinks.com. It's my mission and my passion to help others with their business. So if I can be your coach, your mentor, or help you in any way, that's my goal. My goal is to bring you value. So let me know if there's anything I can help you with and I look forward to working with you.